welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a Primark haul which is one of my favourite videos to film. Seems to be one of your guys' favourites to watch as well, so thumbs up if you're a fan of the Primark hauls. If you are new here then hello, welcome, my name is Freya, I upload twice if not three times a week and I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and I'll also leave both my Instagram and Instagram home account which is Freya Farrington 1 and Freya Farrington Home down below in the description box if you did want to follow me over on there where I post daily. I actually got some vlog footage so I think what I'll do is I'll insert that here and if you're not a fan of the vlog footage then just skip forward to when I show you the things that I did get. But there were lots of Christmassy bits in so I wanted to whip out my camera in store and vlog them for you guys because I'm not ready to start shopping Christmas just yet. I want to wait until November to start the Christmas content still for now we're in the autumnal bits so if you do want to see that vlog footage I will insert that here. For my feelings, there's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. You and I were so sweet, so sweet. Talking till we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep. But love, yeah. Cause you really get me, get me. Make me fall to my knees, my knees. Every night I fall deep, fall deep. Catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep a thought straight with you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind, but why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than a mountain, all because of you. You and I were so sweet, so sweet. Talking till we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep. Cause you really get me, get me, make me fall 
Okay, so let's just jump straight into showing you now what I actually picked up. I'm actually going to start with my favourite item because it's right on the top here. It's the biggest item. It is a coat. I have already bought a coat this season and you know what? It's been pretty cold here in the UK, especially in the north. I live near Manchester, so we're known for the... You're on camera! Oh, yeah. Is that really disappointing? <laughs> Did you miss me? You smell of biscuits. No, I don't. You stink of biscuits. I put some on my face. You smell of it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Good. Do you want to be on my on my video? Anyway, I'm just gonna carry on. In fact, no, he's weeing. I'm gonna shut that door. But what do you think to this coat? Nice. Nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Feel how heavy it is. Yeah. Good quality. Is it all from Primark? Yeah, I'm doing a Primark haul. It's not the clothes, it's the clothes I need to see. Yeah, that's true. Don't buy into the brand. Anyway, this coat I do really love. Let me show you a bit closer up. It's like a check print. And it was the bargain price of £35. So I would just quickly show you this coat on. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Nice long length on the arms, which I love. I hate it when coats are too short. And can you even see the bottom of it there to see what length it goes to? Oh, I forgot I got this. Yes, I love this. Okay, so it did come with matching bottoms, but I went with just the blazer and I sized up to a size 14. They did have my size, which usually I'm a 10. £20, which for a blazer is reasonable. It's okay for Primark. Um, and it has like a brown cream and black. Very, very small houndstooth print. It's, it's not that oversized. So if you want an oversized fit, definitely size up a couple of sizes so that it is a bit more like that. This is fine for me, but it is, like I said, a bigger size than my normal one. So I love the print of it, I love the colour of it, it's not too in your face, it's quite subtle. Put it with my Primark vintage straight jeans, which again I have these in every colour, I'm obsessed with these. And these are £13 but I already got loads so I didn't need to pick up any more on this trip. I also got a scarf, okay, I said I wasn't shopping Christmas. This isn't Christmas, this is winter. I got a scarf. It was £4, so how could I resist? Honestly, it is my perfect colours. And I do feel like check print is quite a nice print for autumn, so on those particularly cold days, I will be whipping this bad boy out. I love the cream, love the brown, and I love the fact that it's predominantly cream as well, so £4. These I stock up with every year, and of course I wanted to get some more this year. I will be getting more, I am just saying that now disclaimer but uh these are only £1.80 for a pack of two they are the cozy socks i've got loads of black ones but i needed some more cream anyway moving on i did get a homeware item that i saw in the sale i have bought this one before and burnt through it already i do like the smell of it it's not as strong as i like my candles to be but i love the aesthetic of it as well so this one is in wood smoke and tobacco is it yeah and it was in the sale for just a pound from two pound fifty they had the bigger ones available at four pound fifty still full price i think four pound fifty or is it five four four pound fifty four pound fifty i think and then they've got minky dupes who would have known so i saw these two antibacterial cleansing 
cleaning sponges and they were two pounds. Moving on to the second and final bag now. I can't wait to go back and shop Christmas stuff, honestly. It was so tempting to do a massive haul with loads of Christmas stuff and I thought, no, it's still October. November is the time for that, so do stick around if you want to see that. Um, so I picked up this as a basic knit in a small, six pounds. They had loads of colours available. Just a high neck, ribbed, really super soft knit. So this is the high neck cream top. It is on the thin side, I'm not gonna lie. And it is one that I intended on layering in winter. You'd have to be careful on the way you put with it, basically is what I'm saying. Right, so I picked up a set which I'm actually not sure about. I didn't try any of these on store, on in store. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep both of these. I need to try them on and see if I can make it work first. But essentially it is a jumper and skirt knit cold of which they had loads of different colors available, loads of different types of knit available all pretty much at the same price of 10 pounds is it 13 pounds for the skirt and then the top i believe there were some that the top was 10 pounds but this one was also 13 so three pounds more for the set but it is a thicker knit this one this is the skirt so it's the skirt that i'm not that sure about as an outfit i do think it would look really nice but i don't think i would ever wear this skirt with something else so i don't know if i'm going to get my money's worth out of this however the top the jumper i know i really know i'm going to live in so for 13 pounds for a good staple high neck roll neck thick knit cozy jumper in this gorgeous camel color which this color for me screams autumn i have a lot of this color in my wardrobe and i love to wear it at this time of year so i did size up to a 12 to 14 in the top and I sized down, no, I stayed true to size, a small in the skirt. Okay, I think what I've decided with this one is, as predicted, send the skirt back. I don't know why, I just don't think it suits me, this kind of, I don't know, I, I love knit cords and I've had them in the past whereby the skirt is fitted. So I think I'm just not used to it, that's the main thing. The jumper, I love. I love the colour of it, I love the long wide sleeves so that it's nice and you know when you can just get cosy with your own jumper, that's how I feel with this one and the nice cosy neck, but the skirt, I don't know if this is, I don't think I get my wear out of it, that's the main thing, I'll probably wear it once and then be over it. Next up I got a, another high neck, this one isn't as thick and it's obviously a completely different colour, it's in this beige colour, but it's quite a thin knit to the point where it, you know before it gets super super cold, days like to, especially when you're out shopping as well, I do find I get hot when I'm shopping, so at this time of the year, when I am going out and about, I want a thinner knit to layer up with a coat or a blazer rather than a thick chunky knit and a coat and blazer so yeah large eight pounds gorgeous beige color tighter sleeves but it's quite uh, boxy on the body yet again another really good staple basic thin knit ribbed top this is what it looks like on and this is the length of it untucked and you can see it's slightly longer at the back. It does cover your bum so if you did just want to go leggings with it, it would be fine. Walking boots, coffee in hand, walking jacket, dog in the other hand. Cozy autumn winter walk layering top vibes. Okay, I also picked up this as a basic roll neck rather than high neck. This is a roll neck, I suppose it is different to the cream one that I got earlier. But in a small, again at just six pounds, this is a thinner knit roll neck jumper. Gorgeous color for this season. Again, I'm a big fan of the neutrals, as always, always have been. And I don't actually own many tops like this. So I thought I would try this one out. If I like it, I may stock up in more colors. So this is what this roll neck top looks like on. I was a bit worried it's a bit too close to my skin tone in color in comparison to other darker camel colours, but I don't know. I do quite like it though. I like the high neck, I like the long sleeves. I like the fact that it's a thin in it as well, which allows for good layering in winter. And again, it, this is the length of it untucked. I would probably tuck it in so that it'd be more like that length. 
and yeah this is what it looks like six pound i feel like is a good bargain for a good basic like this and then the last item that i picked up is a good old staple sweatshirt this one is only five pounds i did size up to an xl which is an 18 to 20 because i like these to be really like as long as possible in the sleeves it always baffles me how these sweatshirts are only five pounds but it is a staple it's one that i've brought several times in the past i do find that they don't necessarily wash the best like i do like this new feeling of it so after a year or whatever i'll just stock up on some more and then donate the other ones but this is a color that i particularly like so i'm going to obviously keep this for a while and um probably wear it quite a lot to be honest with you. I feel like it's going to be a good staple just around the house but also just tuck it in with a pair of jeans like so and you've got quite a nice simple outfit that I typically would go around about shopping with every every day. So that is the last and final item I picked up. Thank you so much for watching this haul. I know it's a little bit shorter but that's why I wanted to include the vlog footage for you guys and do let me know if you will be coming back to watch the Christmassy hauls coming soon very very soon it's literally weeks away now so i'm so excited for christmas and all the christmasy content so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video bye guys